if you don't know what is having clothes, then I also recommend you looking to this video because we'll learn how to make wear clothes for aggregates in Google Sheet Basics with Query Language. Well, actually, there is no having clothes in Google Query Language, but we can build simple group report and then make query inside another query. So we'll combine to the same formulas to make our report look just like we want to. Okay, we are in spreadsheet like right now. Uh, here is the data, here is the formula, and it expands into columns F to I, and here is query text, and formula uh, has a reference to this query text, K1, as you see, and to this AD data in curly brackets. Now let us change the text to make it build grouping report. Uh, select code 2, oh sorry, caps, code 2, comma, let's sum up sum of code 4, and also group by code 2. Group by Go to to make it work fine. Enter. See the result. Also, I like to end somewhere close where where code two is not no code two not equals not equals empty string. Yes, right now. Okay. Ah, not not go go one not go one but go two. Yeah. And now our report looks fine. But uh, what if I want to sum up all names and all pays uh, when uh, the sum is above 40 or above 32, let's say, above 32. Let's make this number because here are only three rows will, find, will, be, will be entered. Yeah, Jerry is more than 32, Mikey and Scrooge is more and uh, these two I don't want to see them. So uh, what I what I want to do and uh, and where sum of call call for more than thirty two. I've added this text and I want it to work, but uh, mm, ah, and where I don't need such second where. Okay. I need this clause to work fine, but uh, as you see, I uh, entered where code to not equals empty string, and sum of call for uh, more is more than 32. But I have an error: unable to parse query string for function query parameter cannot be in where clause. As you see, we can't just make it in where, and we can't make having group by and when I type having uh, if you know some SQL language syntax you may know that having some above what to do is illegal for SQL but it's also illegal for Google spreadsheet query because we don't have such special word on the private order skipping limit of label and so on so you can't make this having but as I told you you can just make second query inside. Uh, let's copy this and in our formula just here I'll cut this control X then just type another query formula control V to make our query result as a new source for the new query and then in double quotes let's type select everything where code 2 in our case this is code 2 the sum will be code 2 is more than 32 double quotes close brackets and then hit enter and as you see we just emulate this having close by double query and this is the main trick and uh, this is also good 
good way to to produce any formula you wish is just combining query with another query or with another formulas to get proper result. Hope you like this video. See you soon.